got one question. New international students here at Kansai Gara have during the orientation period is what's with those masks people are wearing? Why are they wearing them? So I decided to make this video to answer that question for any future students planning to come here to Japan or just anybody planning to travel to Japan as a general because it's a good thing to know. So you're walking down the streets of Japan and a young person passes you wearing one of these masks. Now, don't let the first thought in your mind be that they're a crazy germaphobe who needs to get a life because there's actually multiple good reasons for people to wear a mask like this. The first reason is sickness. In Japan is a very group-oriented country, and so if they can do something to help others, generally they do, without a second thought. So people wear the masks to keep their cough in, their sneezes in, so that they don't infect other people around them, say at school, their family at home, uh, people at their job, etc. The second reason people wear them is for allergies. With allergies, you also cough a lot, just like when you have a cold. And also, they make good filters to keep out the pollen and other allergens, and also even a lot of tobacco smoke, too. The third reason for wearing a mask is for prevention. When it's cold or flu season, you'll often see Japanese people wearing these masks, even if they're not sick, because they don't want to get sick from their friends. Being sick here is not fun. The colds are actually from what I experienced when I had one last week, worse than the ones I've had in America. Like, you get a normal cold, but you can have a fever. It's kind of crazy. One last thing before I end this video. A thing you'll also notice, though, with these masks is that no matter a person's reason for wearing it, it always comes off during meals. So if you go to the cafeteria, a restaurant, anywhere, and somebody's sick and walks in with a mask on, you'll notice once they have their food, the mask is off. Because you have to admit, it's a little difficult to get food through one of these. Don't you think? Well, that's all for this update. And I plan to make another video soon that was kind of a request from one of my friends last semester about all of the plushies I've gotten since I came here because my friend kind of noticed that I have a bit of an obsession with them. So yeah, stay tuned to see all the cute plushies I found here in Japan. Until next time!